Here's our commander, Chris Ferguson. He's in the suit up room. He's uh, having a fit check of his helmet. Pilot Doug Hurley. This is his second trip into space. He completed his first space flight on STS 127, and he's logged more than 376 hours in space. Mission specialist number one, Sandy Magnus. This is her third space flight. She spent more than four months in space aboard the International Space Station. This is Rex Walheim. He's our mission specialist number two. He's making his third space flight. He's spent more than 24 days in space on STS-110 and STS-122, and he's had five spacewalks totaling more than 36 hours. Got a great shot of Doug here over on the right. He's looking over pretty much directly at the camera. What he's actually looking at is he's got a checklist over there that he's taking a look at. And he's talking with uh, Fergie right now on the intercom. OTC, MS-2, com check. MS-2, this OTC. I got you loud and clear. How me? I have you loud and clear also, Roberta. Thanks. Good morning, Rex. Good morning. So that was our last comm check with the OTC, and you can see Rex after the first comm check is bringing his visor down and locking it with that bar that comes down, and that's what makes the seal airtight. And now he'll be doing his communication check with the NASA test director here at, at uh, Florida and then with uh, Mission Control in Houston. Firing chain is armed. 15. Go for main engine start. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five. All three engines up and burning. Two, one, zero, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. Roger roll, Atlantis. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. 24 seconds into the flight, roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. 40 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines throttling back to 72% of rated performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic for the final time. Engines now revving up, standing by for the throttle up call. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The main engine steering the shuttle on a pinpoint path to its preliminary orbit. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis already traveling 3,200 miles an hour, 35 miles in altitude, 50 miles downrange. And the guidance officer here in Mission Control confirms that the computers are commanding the main engines to swivel. Engine Zaragoza 104. Engine Zaragoza 104. We've rolled to a heads-up position now, providing better communications to the tracking and data relay satellite system as Atlantis heads uphill. Six minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. For the last time, the space shuttle's main engines have fallen silent as the shuttle slips into the final chapter of a storied 30-year adventure. Now standing by for external tank separation. Atlantis off the tank. 
Commander Chris Ferguson will be maneuvering Atlantis now into an orientation to enable Sandy Magnus to capture digital still imagery of the external fuel tank as it drifts away. Ohms 1 is not required. Your preliminary Ohms 2 TIG, 37 minutes. 